You know, I want to talk to some of you about knife skills and how to save time in the kitchen and be much more efficient. I find that what a lot of people do is they'll take um, a serrated knife. This is their go-to knife, a serrated knife, and they do a lot of sawing. So sawing is not the way to get through a carrot or an onion. Better yet, you want to learn to chop. What I strongly suggest people do is get a good, like a good eight inch chef's knife, like this buck knife here, and get a 25 pound bag of carrots. And by the time you get through that 25 pound bag of carrots, you too will have superior knife skills. Let me show you how this works. Right here on this point of the knife here, that's your pivot point. And you're gonna work this pivot point is going to work towards the carrot. And I'm just gonna walk the blade this way, heading towards my buck mug here. Take your fingers, curl them in. Don't have your thumb sticking out. It's really, really important that you don't cut the tips of your fingers or your knuckles off. And you're just going to walk the knife towards your hand. And in short order, that's going to cut through these carrots infinitely faster than if you were to saw through them. And the reason you're probably sawing through a lot of these things is because your knife just isn't sharp. Get a good knife, maintain a good sharp edge, and learn how to use that knife. That'll save you time in the kitchen.